everybody, this is the Fairy Vibrant Makeup Channel, and I'm going to be doing a demo on some makeup brushes I had picked up. And if you haven't seen them, there's a lot of hype with these, so they're kind of hard to find. But if you do manage to find them, pick them up because they're really affordable. And I'm talking about the Wet n Wild brushes. These are the um, just regular brushes. They're gluten-free, cruelty-free, and they're really soft to the touch. Wow. I do have one that's open, and it's this angled brush, and it's really, really soft. So I'm actually going to apply my makeup just using these brushes. There, there might be some like different brushes that I will need to use for um, anything, because I don't have the entire collection of the brushes. I think I'm just missing the angled brush and the blush brush. So I'm going to go ahead and apply everything. I'm going to apply some primer first off camera and then I'm going to apply my foundation with one of the brushes. So I did put my primer on, primer of choice, of course, it's my Olay Fresh FX Swirled Mattifier and then I'm going to be using the flat top brush. This is um, just a flat top brush. You could find these. It's pretty pretty simple to find. I, I, I found it at, where did I find it? I found it at a Walgreens that usually doesn't have a whole lot of Wet n Wild brushes, um, but I managed to find that there. It was uh, $2.99 I believe so they were buy one or buy no there was two for three for the cheaper brushes I know that at Walgreens but this one I got at Walgreens um near me actually and I bought it right away because I needed to try it so for foundation I'm going to be using the Argan Wear BB Cream from Physicians Formula I like this because I tend to get a little dry after I break out and right now my skin is clearing and there are some dry patches on my skin so let's go ahead and I'm just going to dip my flat top in there and then just buff it onto the skin. It actually didn't do a bad job. It didn't leave it too streaky, but it did not leave it as smooth as usually like my beauty blender. I use Crown and I use the um, Real Techniques beauty blenders and I like those because I can get a smoother application. With this flat top, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. I mean, it's it works just as good as um, the flat tops I use, which... I can find them is the Mark one, and I do use Eco Tools, but I find that I'm liking Beauty Blenders much better. But um, it isn't bad for in case I want to use a flat top brush. It works just the same as these two, which I really love. So it's not bad, and it was only like a two ninety nine is what it's retailed at. So it's not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply uh, my concealer under my eyes. I don't have anything for that, so. I'm just going to blend that out with um, my usual, well, I'll just use my fingers for that. I actually decided to use a flat top brush for the spot concealing. See how well it presses that into the skin. It actually does a pretty good job. It doesn't seem to make it uneven or streaky. Not bad. Alright, so brows are done. I used my Hard Candy Brow Ink in the shade Dark Brown? Yeah, Medium Dark is what it's called. And then I did set my under eyes and um, I used Wet n Wild. I used the yellow one because my eyes have a little bit of blue under there. And then I did go ahead and prime and set my eyeshadow, well, my lids, and I use this brush all the time because it's really big and it's got a lot of surface area. All right, so let's start getting into the eyes. So the brushes I have are actually, they were two for three dollars, I believe, something like that, three for two dollars, three for two dollars, um, and uh, that was at Walgreens, so I got these at Walgreens, and the first one that I it was actually searching high and low for is the crease brush, and it's really, really soft, and it's it's just perfect for blending shadows in the crease, of course, that's why it's a crease brush. And then a flat, kind of fluffy brush, so it's, it's also a really soft brush, and this is nice for when I want to just buff out some, the outer corner. And then I have the flat top brushes, which is um, this one, it's kind of short, 
It's also pretty soft. It's not stiff like my other ones. This would be nice for packing on color. And then, of course, this one is supposed to be, I think, a concealer brush, if I'm not mistaken. But I think I'm going to use that to kind of pack on those little tight areas on my lids. So let's go ahead and try these guys. All right, so um, I do want to try my new um, eyeshadow palette, but I don't because I kind of want to do... Um, a video just on that and but at the same time I'm kind of like I want to try it out let's do it let's try it out because I was going to use my peach palette from Too Faced but I'm going to use my new palette that I got from Mother's Day now I'm not going to show you the packaging so I'm pretty sure you've seen it anyways and I wanted to do kind of like not a review but a swatch type of first impressions because I will have more of a first impressions on that and I'm not going to use the brush in here so I'll have a video next week on that so here's the palette. Let's get into this. So we're going to go with Reflection, which is this shade right here. It looks like a perfect crease shade or transition shade. So I'm just going to pick that up with my Wet n Wild crease brush. And let's go ahead and get into this. I brought you in closer so that you can see how they perform. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that into the crease as a transition shade. Oh, this feels so soft. That is so soft. It won't get that precise crease, like if you're going to do a cut crease, it might not do that for you, but this is nice for blending out. It's really soft. So I would recommend this as a blending brush mostly than uh, doing cut crease. I think you need a more precision brush on that one. Ooh, I like it. It's really soft. All right, so I have the uh, basics, well, the basics uh, started. I'm going to go through and do looking glass, and I'm going to just get that with the uh, flat eyeshadow brush and just put that in my uh, brow bone area so I can highlight. does a pretty good job it's it's really soft I like that a lot because it's not really like scratchy especially for the price I mean this I got for 79 cents that's pretty good for a really nice high quality brush I believe okay so I've decided to go in with a pink smoky eye I'm just gonna go for it so I'm gonna use the Ardency in Modster um, and this is in the shade, it's a Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner Hot Pink. And I'm going to use this as my base because when I do smoky eyes, I always like to use a base. So that way everything is nice and pigmented. I'm just going to go with my finger. I usually use a finger to blend out the edges. Alright, so my sticky base is down and I'm going to pick up this shade Cake. I've been wanting to use this shade. It looks appealing to me. I'm just going to pack that on top. Using my concealer brush from Wet n Wild. So pretty. This is a very pretty color on top of my sticky base. And this does, this is a nice brush because it does get in those small little areas like right here. That I can do kind of like that. It can get on my lash line really nice. So I like that a lot. Alright, going back with the crease brush, the blending brush, and picking up reflection again. I'm just going to blend out those edges so that I have a smooth transition. Oh my gosh, it blends really nice. It blends super nice, guys. It's really nice. I'm in love with this brush. It's so soft. Okay, I feel like it needs a little bit more depth in the crease, so I'm going to pick up uh, Dormouse, which is this shade right here. It's like a medium um, brown. And I'm just going to put that into the crease. But at the same time, I'm just doing circular motions with the brush because it's super soft and you can do that real easy. And I'm just going to blend it. And it does blend it out really nice. Really nice. 
really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and go back in to cake and pack on more of that color so I don't lose that pink that I had initially put there. What's nice is I can just go in and just kind of like softly blend it into the crease. These brushes are really impressive. I'm very impressed. All right, so I do want to add a little bit more depth and I kind of want to go with Gone Mad and I'm going to use this guy. It's that fluffy kind of flat brush. It's an eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to kind of press it onto the outer corner and just tap it into the crease so that I don't put too much on and I just slowly build. This is nice because it really fits nice in my outer corner area. It fits so perfect. This fits perfect all around. I'm going to take off my crease brush and just blend it out with no additional product. So I just want a little bit of depth, not too much. And I can tap my crease brush just a tiny bit into that and just kind of drag it into the crease in the outer corner a little bit and then just blend it softly. I feel like that's making the depth a little bit better. Like soft, but it's, it's not too much. And that's what I like about this brush. It just gives you the right amount. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the excess on my under eye area. All right, so now it's time to set the face. Um, and I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte powder. I'm just going to lightly tap it. Oh my gosh. It like does an over powder, which is nice. I tend to like look a little cakey sometimes because I tend to go crazy with my powder, but this is really nice. All right. And I'm just wiping off some of that excess yellow powder that I had. Making sure everything's set. Doesn't itch, which is nice. Just making sure everything is nice and set. Because I'm oily and I need to set my entire face. So, so far I like it. It's really soft. It doesn't pick up too much powder where it'll make you cakey or anything. So... It's really soft. I like it. See, that's the powder brush. I did not get the blush brush, but I do have um, two more face brushes, and that's the contour angled brush and then the stipple brush, which I'm going to use for my blush. All right, so I'm going to finish out the eyes, and I kind of want to pop something extra on the bottom. So I'm going to go in with this Fergie um, eyeshadow pencil, or I mean uh, eyeliner in Hyper Sky. I'm going to put this as a base because I do need sticky bases to make my lower lash line stay. I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line. Alright. Then I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to pick up the shade... And I don't, I wish I got that angled liner brush. I can't find it anywhere. I just can't find it. But I'm going to use the flat brush that I used before um, to get my brow bone. Because it's nice and flat so I can get the lower lash line. So I'm going to go with Metamorphosis. And I'm just going to kind of smudge that. And I make weird faces when I do this. pretty good. It's not going to be my ideal lower lash line brush. Oh, it does get the job done. Of course, it does make a mess. So, of course, taking my uh, crease blending brush, and I'm going to pick up Reflection and just blend that lower lash line. Blends it out really well, so that's what I like. Hmm. I love these brushes. All right, time to finish the face. I'm going to now apply some bronzer, and I'm going to pick up bronzer. I'm going to do 
you the Physician's Formula. This is the Bronze Booster in, um, and it's that bronzing veil. And this is the shade Light to Medium. So I'm going to be using that angled brush that I had gotten. There's the angled brush. It's really pretty. Soft as well. See how well it does on my... It does get in there really nice. It like fits perfect in that area. Add a little bit to the forehead and temple. Bronzes really well, but I am going to contour a little bit because I feel like I'm wanting to see how this performs um, versus this one from uh, Luxie Beauty. This is one I got in a boxy charm. It's nice to get in the hollows of my cheeks, but this one might be a little good, a little, you know, interesting because it's so soft. Oh yeah, it fits perfect there. does contour really well, which is nice. I'm, I'm actually very impressed. And then I'm um, going to go over it with some more bronzer just to blend it out. I actually got pretty curious to see how the crease brush does for contouring the nose. So I did get the crease brush. I cleaned it off. Now I'm just going to go in and Oh yeah, it's nice for contouring the nose because it's soft and it's just right for that little, those areas on the side. I'm gonna clean it off and just blend it out. See, and it blends so well. So it does blend really well and it's really nice for that contour. Okay, I normally don't contour my nose, but hey. For this video, I will. And I'm going in with the lighter shade. I'm using the Wet n Wild contour. And I'm going with the lighter shade to highlight that part. Did a pretty good job. Time for blush. Now I'm going to go in with a... I'm going to go with the Happy Booster from Physician's Formula. This is the shade Warm, and it's those hearts... And I'm going to go in with my stipple brush because normally I use stipple brushes for uh, foundation, but I've been liking stipple brushes like my e.l.f. one that I use. Where is it? I did have it here, but anyways, um, I used it a lot for blush because I started liking it. So let's see how this performs over that one. This is actually really nice. It gets in there, it buffs it out really well. I do probably want to eventually get the uh, blush brush from this collection. Just because this is a little hard to get kind of, I have big cheeks so kind of hard to get that surface area. Alright, so this is another, I did get two crease brushes because honestly these are the best. And um, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild highlighter, and I'm going to use this to get the highlight. Oh yeah, it fits perfect right on the cheekbone, and it's so soft. So you can get one for your one for your eyeshadows, and then one for maybe like your face. So this is probably what I'm going to do with this one. Just have one for my face, one for my highlight. Because it gets, it just gets right where you need it. It does the brow bone really well and then it blends it out really well. Impressed. All right, so that's the end of this video. Um, overall, I think these brushes are pretty good quality considering the price. These brushes run from 99 cents to 2.99, but you can find them on sale. I know right now at Rite Aid, the brushes all of Wet n Wild is on sale 40% off. So I got this for a dollar 79. Yeah, a dollar 79. So and then I did get um, these guys at Walgreens, and I found them. Um, it's just 
basically where they sell more wet and wild that's where you probably find it it's very hard to find certain walgreens don't have so yeah if you're one of those people that like cheap brushes and you buy from morphe or whatever um you can buy these and you don't have to order them or you can order them through the wet and wild i'm sure website or cvs but you can find them in stores so that way you can actually see them before you buy them and they are pretty good quality they blend really well but i want to see how they perform as i swatch this this uh palette so i'm going to be doing the video on this palette soon um and that way i can get that my review and overall first impression thoughts since i did apply it and just kind of let you know um how it is and i might demo another look on that and i do actually want to do a video dedicated to or a series of videos dedicated to this palette using them in actual order so i will talk about in my next video of the uh swatches on how i'm going to be doing those videos so yeah thank you for watching and i appreciate you guys for tuning in i'm so thank you for watching my video and i will see you guys in my next video bye